Afternoon guys. So I get a lot of questions when people's trees, they're not looking right. Um, most people misdiagnose basically everything. Today I'm gonna show you a coconut cream. I was walking through some of these trees I'm growing out to pot up. These are mostly all seven gallon right here, by the way, and they're huge seven gallons. And we're just waiting for them to get a little bigger and we'll pot them up, but I saw the telltale signs of mites on one of the trees on an Alfonso over there. So I then looked at my coconut cream in the ground just to see, cause I noticed some distorted leaves. And you know, let me show you, come this way. These leaves that look like this, a lot of times people might say, oh, uh, I got fungus, right? Cause it looks like a fungus, but this isn't fungus. So usually it can either be some, it's some kind of pest. You look for webbing in between the leaves. You won't be able to pick it up. But there's a little bit of webbing there. Anyways, webbing is a sign of some type of spider, whatever. Then I came over here and I saw this one. You go, some people go, oh, I over fertilized. Well, I know I didn't do that. So then I start looking really close in the sunlight and boom, you can't see them maybe on the camera. Well, let's see. But those little red dots right there, they're moving around. Those are mites. These are red spider mites. And guess what? They're going to with the wind they're going to get on every single tree so i'm always showing you trees that look are perfect but today i'm going to show you you know everyone's always spraying copper and all these things because they think they have fungus and most of the time honestly unless you're over watering i find it's going to be some type of pest you see a spider a spider you're going to kill with seven mites you're going to kill with sulfur it's really easy to do um what i like to do before i spray I like to just trim back some of this ugly growth. You don't have to, because you spray, you'll kill them and the new growth will come out good. But I'm trying to keep it away from my trees anyways. So I'll just start tipping like this. I just throw it to the ground, it doesn't really matter. There's no scientific way, you can just cut it however. Look, we're just going fast. Right here, cut it above. Doesn't, there's nothing crazy going on here. Super simple. Uh, cut it there. I don't like that. And got some cutting over here to do. Anyways, this this is good for the coconut cream to tip it like this, anyways, because you know if you don't tip coconut cream, they get a crazy they get a crazy growth on them. I'll just work my way around the tree this way. And let me, I don't know if you're able to pick it up on the camera. But if I can find a leaf with the symptoms of mites, I'll show you. Okay, look. You see how the leaf is lighter? It looks like there's little dots. Don't look at the big white blotches, that's spray. But this little, these little white dots, those, those are where the mites are feeding on the leaf. They could be anywhere, they could be underneath. A lot of times you just look real close in the light and you move it like this with the gloss of the light. I mean, I have an eye for them, so I can I can see them without a jeweler's loop, but if you're new to it, you want it, if you get a jeweler's loop, you can't miss it. You get your jeweler's loop, you get it in the light. You see how that leaf is like lost all its dark green? Those are mites. And that leaf will never look good again. It'll just get worse from there, and it'll start attacking the new growth. So what I'm gonna do is spray liquid, liquid sulfur I'll hit it again in seven more days. That'll get in the pores of the skin of the mite. Burn it, kill it. I don't know exactly what it does. But uh, yeah, that's it. Any questions, hit us up. Talk to you later.